Do you think you can tell the difference between photos taken with the Fujifilm 50mm f1.0 and the Fujifilm 56mm 1.2? Well, let's find out. What's up everyone, Reggie B Photo here and welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Reggie Ballesteros and I am a wedding photographer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. So I've been shooting with the Fujifilm 50mm f1.0 as my go-to telephoto prime for all my weddings and portrait gigs in 2021. But prior to that, I was shooting with the Fujifilm 56mm 1.2 for three years and it really performed phenomenally as my workhorse telephoto prime lens for whatever I wanted to throw at it, especially when it came to compressed backgrounds and getting that sweet bokeh. But this video is not to say that one lens is better than the other, nor is it really to prove whether or not the new 50mm 1.0 is really worth the added weight, larger size, and even larger price in comparison to the 56mm 1.2. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, be sure to check out my first impression video on the 50mm f1.0 linked up above. Instead, this is really to see if you can tell the difference between images shot with the 50mm f1.0 and the 56mm 1.2 in a realistic wedding or portrait photography situation. What you're not going to see is like a side-by-side -side comparison of the same images with the same composition, same aperture, same distance, same settings, etc. Because there are plenty of videos and articles online which have this comparison available to you for your review. Instead, I wanted to put you all in a blind test situation to see if you can actually tell the difference. All right, with all that out of the way, I'm going to tell you how this blind test is going to go down. So take out a pen and a paper or open up a new note on your mobile phone and and number it from 1 through 30. From there, I'm going to show you 30 images, 15 from the 50mm f1.0 and 15 from the 56mm f1.2, but they're all going to be kind of shuffled around a bit. And it's your job to write down which lens you think took the image. And after that, I'm going to show you all the results along with the camera settings, camera, and of course, which lens actually took the photo. All right, now let's get started.
let me know how you did by writing down how many out of 30 you got right in the comments down below. So I'm hoping that this video showed you that the 50 millimeter f1.0 makes a huge visible difference or perhaps the differences are negligible to you or maybe you actually like the 56 millimeter 1.2 better. Regardless it's going to help you make a more informed purchasing decision on which lens is right for you based on the output, the rendering, image quality, all that stuff, whatever which one you actually prefer. And if this video solidified which one you want to purchase, I have links down in the description below to both lenses if you want to purchase the lens using these links to support the channel at no additional cost to you. And if you all want me to do kind of like a long term review of the 50mm 1.0 after I've been shooting with it for about 8 months now, please let me know down in the comments and give the video a like. As always, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I post a new Fujifilm or photography video every week. But if that's too long, be sure to follow me on Instagram and at RegiBphoto as I'm always posting new tips, tricks, and tutorials every single day. Alright, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you all in the next one. With the same composition, same aperture, same distance, same settings because there are plenty of videos and articles which really have this comparison available for your review. <coughs> 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 oh man.